Hey guys, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last one, I took the moonshine that we got from the Braithwaite's moonshine distillery back to Catherine Braithwaite, trying to sell it to her. And she eventually agreed, gave us some money, but then was like, now you have to do me a favor. Go give it to the town for free. So we did that in disguise, of course. I'm sure Sheriff Gray is going to be very upset, which I assume was her entire motive behind that. We got ran off by the Lemoyne Raiders, and then after that, I did a bank robbery with Karen, Bill, and Lenny. And honestly, I feel like it went great. I was kind of nervous, and they definitely, with the music and everything that's happening, they make you feel really nervous. It's very nerve-wracking, and you're just like waiting for someone to show up and everything to hit the fan, but it went good. We got all the money. I think the crew came away with 10,000 for the camp and then 2,000 each. So in total, I think it was like 20,000 we got, which was insane. I think the most money we've collected from anything by far. And that was hands down my favorite mission I've got to experience so far. I can't wait to continue. But thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoy this and let's jump into the game. What if for this episode we do all three of these? Is that crazy? Let's try to at least do as much as we can. Let's go to John. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Hey, Lenny. Good work on that bank job. Mm-hmm. Loved every minute. Same. There'll be plenty more where that came from. <gasps> no. uh Okay. Wait. Well, let's talk more later. Are we gonna get to okay, do more? Arthur. See you, Lenny. Girl. Oh, I sure hope so. Girl. <laughs> I can only hope that we get to do a few more of those before this game ends. Man. That was so much fun. Look at this fog. Holy. This is intense. I gotta say, the weather in this game is so dang impressive. I think we've been through every single season. I don't know if it's been super hot though. Like summer, but... We've had fog, we've had rain, we've had thunderstorms. Yeah. We're missing tornadoes, which... I guess is fine. But... It has been beautiful. I'm gonna be so sad when this is over. I'm sh okay, I think I have like a ton of game left though, so I don't even know why I'm thinking about that. That always happens to me though. When I start to love a game, then I'm like, but it's gonna end eventually. 225, uh, I could probably pay it now. I think I could fit that in the budget. It'll be tough though. mystery box the medicine man i will owe you my whole life no lie <laughs> but, uh, uh, how about you just buy me something, something nice from the store. there we go whatever you want it's on me <laughs> maybe some gun oil okay thank you what can i do for you yeah uh, guy with the snake bite says i can put yeah, some well, here on his tab all right it's about time I spread this good word. Yeah, yeah. Who else will teach us sinners if not you? That's a good question. Who else? That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. Okay. I'll add it to his list. What would it be under? Ammunition? We need gun oil. One fifty. Oh, <gasps> pocket watch. I'll yes. Let him know. Has to be You're the pocket watch. You're next time, though. Has to be the pocket watch. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let me at least buy some though. While we're here. Maxed it out. Can I jump that? Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Okay, no weapons, no trouble, no chaos. I'll try my best. No promises also. <laughs> All I can do is the best I can do. Hey boys, horse flesh. Can I help you there? Sure. Those what? Supposed to be my business partners here. Hey. Arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar yeah, cool. and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Horse a flesh day. for dinner. I'm scared to find out. Like what? I hope that that's just taken out of context. Where are the stables at? Oh. That's a pretty nice stable. I never realized. Good man. Hey, John. Like you. you don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't mm -hmm. be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For Ooh. horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Tell over there we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Oh, Just keep man. us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Inbred sons. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Okay, so is that why the sister is how she is? Because of incest? In front of you. All right. Okay. I'm not gonna go too fast because I want to be able to hear the dialogue if it pops up. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Oof. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Jose well, and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. Oh, God. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. What if we see them? We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. What he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Honestly, for for now getting we're horses, gonna we're gonna make a Place fourth well of the bank guarded, robbery. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend five thousand on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Know. Boy, too many questions. The back way. Is this the back way? You guys, I have got to go treasure hunting soon. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment. With Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we Is should gonna work? elsewhere. Well, I... Let us in. Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. 
That easy, okay. Well. Someone will come see you. Man, look at their view. And then they have those trees on the right side. Come on. How freaking beautiful. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Play it cool. I'm gonna go over. Oh, I probably can't. If I can, though, I want to go over to the outhouse. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. This is gonna All go right. great. This Let's is gonna be fine. This is gonna go very smooth. No one's gonna die. Let me do the talking. Oh gosh. Why me? Oh, uh, here we go. Let me walk very calm, cool, collected. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available Put the for gun away. purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, stealth faith. killing him. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. So he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but, uh, bred right. He'll produce another winner. Oh. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need Father of Time. Oh, the irony of that. Top L1 to quickly equip a required item. All right, oh, I'll grab yeah. the white one in the middle, yeah. you get the other two. Yes! Nice. I was hoping I would get the white one. It's Come very pretty. On. Good boy. Easy. Easy, Easy now. now. Easy. Easy Girl. now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Easy now. It's okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. It's okay. You okay? Oh, how freaking pretty is this horse? Wait. Wow. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go. Oh, quick. hurry! Oh, get out of here! I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Go! Oh! More coming this way. Okay. Which gun? Where's my Lancaster? Lancaster, and then I'm gonna put the pump right here in case I need it. Perfect. Out of the fields! <laughs> Watch out by that wagon. More. Hello? We got more on horseback.
Oh, too far. Go left into the field. We need to get further than this. More on the road there. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh pickle, pickle, pickle. <laughs> Quick. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Oh gosh. Shit! One of the stick aliens is loose. Keep going, I'll get him. Oh god. You guys know I'm bad at this? Oh, gotcha. there we go. Oh, is that it? With. Oh, that's closer well, than I thought. I thought it was far away. Gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Absolutely. You that could have gone smoother. Like they're paying five thousand for horses. I guess we'll see. Are we being lied to? Hold on. Hold on. I don't play that game. Let's see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. Oh. John, Arthur, Javier. Is that so? So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. What is they going on? They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can oh. give you 654. Oh, I knew that was going to piss me off. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. We need to go talk to that guy, Mr. Gray, immediately. He played us. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. 
At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Should have known. Should have known. $116. I mean, it wasn't a lot of work, but... Th that was a big lie. Massive lie. I just saw him writing in his journal. What do you mean? Okay. You can sell horses to Clay. Okay, so stolen horses we can sell to him. Alright, good to know. So... Man. How in the world... Did he switch the number so bad? We got 700? And he said 5,000. Okay, let's go to Hosea and see what's going on over there. Hey there, mister! <laughs> hey there, mister! I think they have the nicer house. Of the two, I do think the Braithwaite's. They got a better property, it looks like. And maybe hey that's friends, why the Greys hate them. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Oh, I can go in? That response did not make me feel like I was welcome. Move along now. Are we going in? <gasps> no way. No way. We get to go inside. Oh, I can't wait. I want to see what the house looks like. Uh, wow. In, sir. Look at that architecture. For Look at the way, archways. Wow. They don't make A them like they used to. to. See you, <laughs> so, your friend, the other liquor I don't know. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. Cribbage. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Okay. Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Oh, my God. <gasps> Jose is gonna get us killed. Can I drive? Nope. Heck no. Sean, if I can't drive, I know you can't drive. Ready? Let's get out of here. Ready as I'll ever be. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't <laughs> had rain in weeks round here. What? Oh Get my god. Using that back there. That's what we're doing? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. What? Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. <laughs> One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. Sean's growing on me. Oh, for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. I wasn't sure there about him. There be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're playing both we're sides. Just gonna drive on in there, is that it? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I'm, I'm worried. 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 I'm wor
Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, Sean. We'll leave it to you. To think. He almost got killed. I saved his life. And here we are. About to burn down tobacco. Oh, man. We should maybe put on a disguise, you guys. Would it be worth putting on my bandana? No, because we have to get inside. Whoa. They're going to be like, why are you Hold wearing that? Second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? I'm going to hide. I'll go hide and back. Yep. If you can act naturally and... Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> not my head hey, sticking up. out. Hey, and my man. gun. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hold it right there. I like this point of view. It feels sneakier. Oh, man. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, oh. Before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Real smooth, Sean. Real smooth. I think Pickle could have talked her way out of that one better. <coughs> Hamish. My goodness. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they Not said many? they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Well, tell us. Uh, Let right it out. There. You can vent to old Sean. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Oh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy because of some folks got all the money. They can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> oh, I knew, was, I knew he was going to crack his neck. It Damn it. I had a feeling he was going to do that. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna 
deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Oh, I hope Sean is fine after this. Okay. What are we doing? Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. The wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Okay, payroll. We gotta remember that. This fella. All right. the fields or meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Not really much happening right here. I see one. See any other guards? That should do it. Oh, I see one. Ooh. Okay, we're still at seventy five. A lot to go. see one how far can he see I think I need to use that cover over there oh shit oh sh okay okay oh this is intense Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, okay. I gotta watch out for him, too. I see one, two, three, four. I see four right now. That could be more, though. Okay, we need him to turn around. Okay, cool. He turned. And he turned. Beautiful. I think I didn't do the first one enough. I didn't realize the mini circle map, <laughs> the mini map, not mini circle, was showing me what I needed to do. Now I know, okay, that's fine. We can cut back. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, really? Now the path changes?
Okay, one more. Oh, that's a big gap to have to run across. A really big gap. Can I make that? Ooh, I don't know. I actually don't know. That might be a little too risky. And there's one right there too. He turned around though. Go, go, go! This too. Go, Light her up. After you, sir. Just toss it. Go on, then. A flame to this piece of shite. <laughs> now let's go lay yourselves a fat cigar. I got the red head. We'll hold this one up. You get the old man's property going. Somebody shoot him already. We got company. Look out! Where are these bastards coming from? Oh, I don't have any bullets. Shotgun? No, bolt action. I thought that was my shotgun. Nearly dead. No more hey, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. We're good? Right, come on, we'll take those horses. Wait, how do I cut the horses? Hey, but let's go. 
Look here, you get them horses free, Marker. Come on. It's not saying anything. It's not. What the? I'm not getting a prompt. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Fine, you're on your Cut own. Cut free. Again. There it goes. I didn't know I had to click L2 to get it to work. Look out. There's more of them. Straight out the main gate. Come on. Me oh my. That was Jesus, something. That's going into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. We don't even know what she's paying, do we? Oh, Sean's going this way? Escape with Sean. Good job, Sean. Quite a night. Sure. Almost ruined it. I could not figure out the cut the horse here. thing. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Um. Yeah. Sure. I'll come back to camp. We're not gonna go to the Braithwaite's? I guess she doesn't care. She'll know. She'll hear. I'm sure that that is gonna spread like wildfire. <laughs> Literally. Everyone's about to hear about that. So much for keeping a low profile. I feel like the Pinkertons get word of this and they're on their way. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, that was, that was Dutch and Arthur. 100%. Here we are. Home sweet home. Home sweet you know, home. Jose, you know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. So we got up 800 from the payroll thing. Not bad. We still haven't got paid from her though, have we? All right. Arthur. Dutch. What is it now, Dutch? What do you want? What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. Magicians We're in for some sport. disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Okay. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Go to Charles. Can I stop at my tent first before I do that? Is that allowed? Mm. Oh, I can't shave. Oh, come on. All right, go to Charles. I have Charles some moonshine too. I don't remember what he said he would give me in exchange. Fire arrows? Oh, wait, oops, passed him. Didn't mean to do that. Hey, Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. He's down. Charles is ride or die. Let's go. I'm gonna give the horse the sugar cube. Cause it miss pickle misses me. Do I even have any? Oh yeah. No no no, that's hay. When did I get hay? I didn't even know I had that. There. Last sugar cube. And then 
Maybe a wild carrot? And then a brush. All right, girl. Where are oh, we going? pickles, all right. The Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, don't ask. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Very Charles. Sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> well, we call it interesting. So, <laughs> spirits seem good in the new camp. I mean, I love how Charles said. Hmm. Space between us and that mess now. Okay. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. It's the principle of the thing. Trelawney. They're trying to set an example. I've only met him a couple times, but he's he's a strange one. Oh, he's a character, all right. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I don't remember what he said about bounty hunters. Like, vaguely? It was when we rescued him though, right? Out of the... Sheriff Gray's, what was it? Lockup carriage? Prison mobile? Okay, no weapon use, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless I you're setting a... Tobacco on fire, then. Ah. Charles, that was on you. That was on you. Trelawney's caravan. Hold. Huh. Ha. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Looks like the door's open, the window's broke. I don't think anyone's in there. Someone got here first. Yep. So it seems. The looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? He left his mm. satchel. Let's take a look around. Inspect this food clue. Barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Okay. You see anything there? Inspect note. This might be something. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is to certify that Blank is the shareholder of Blank Shares, inclusive in the above company, Found subject anything? to the provisions of the memorandum and articles of association thereof. And that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares secretary. Mind share, okay. He's got snake oil. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Maybe this is something right here. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess right. maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. Oh, I see him. Yep, tracks. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, 
When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. What if the See? Pinkertons have them? They must have crossed over the tracks. Or, oh, maybe oh. some bounty hunters have them. Oh, wait, I see something. What's happening over there? Way huh. over yonder. They seem to head into the forest now. Morning, partner. Morning. Something's happening. There hey, it look. is. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Yeah, they might know something. What's wrong, Arthur? Let me not sneak up. He can see me. What am I doing? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> but you might know where he is. Ah, uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Well, well, All well, right, boys. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh my god, yeah, they're bounty hunters. Oh yeah. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Oh, you know something. And you're about to tell us. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. Well, that was easy. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Should I... Uh... <laughs> Alright. That should do it. I had to do it for the money. See? 27 bucks on him. And also, what would stop him from coming after me? You know? We had to do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. All right. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Hopefully they you haven't okay? killed him. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? That's what I was thinking. Of course he'll talk. Yep. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know oh. how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. Well, I don't know Dutch why Dutch him. still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. I feel like having a big mouth but being loyal Nothing's ever doesn't mean you're loyal. Where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Hmm. Well, let's see if he's still alive. That must be it. 
Where? Oh, this? Yeah, okay. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Oh my god. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Oh shit. Oh, it's on the horse. Okay. One dead. I'm telling you now. You boys ain't leaving here. They're gonna get away. Let's find them. Oh, on, there's one. Cowards. And then we got one more, Charles. Over there, Wait, where the where? birds are. Where the birds are, I didn't see it. In here? Where the birds are. I already killed one over here. I didn't see the disturbance he was talking about. Search the cornfields with Charles, okay? Dump this gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. Woo! Oh my! He's mine! Let me take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. Is not your friend? I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Holy shit, that was cool. Come on. We should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Well, I'll take the money. How much yeah. did he have? Thank you. Not too bad. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Oh man. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. We gotta get lost. I'm gonna collapse on all three, you sons of bitches. He's backing off inside. Get after him. There he is! Take him out! Where? Got him. Good. He should be the last of them. Are these bounty hunters all too? Right. Let's go back for Trelawney. Dang! 30 bucks! Right? Wow! Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Man. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, I guess we'll soon find out. Is that a gold out. gun? Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Rare so rolling heard. block rifle. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Nice. Okay, no, what I want to find out is why the bounty hunters were after him. Like, what they want? And they were clearly beating him up trying to probably get information out of him. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? I see him. Over here, dear boy. You got a lot well, of explaining he's still to do. Here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? 
Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. Stoudemire. Looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. No. Go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Oh, okay. God. And now he knows where we live. Do we trust him? I don't know. I'm not saying I don't trust him, more, but more and more civilization. We got to be on our toes. The open country of the West, or what's left of it. But well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Mission complete. Let me see if I wrote my journal. I haven't. Maybe I need to sleep. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp, go to sleep, and then we'll check the journal because I've done so much. There has to be something new. And he's acted like he was writing in it, so maybe it's just triggered by sleep. Could you? Two dead, One more. you boys do that what a shame oh oh nope hi I didn't kill anyone I was attacked sir don't mind me you're fine just keep going am I safe to loot now I won't be wanted right Oh, he had four dollars. I have a lot of jewelry. I gotta sell some stuff. Does anyone know where I could get a necklace from? Because I know Tilly's been wanting one, but usually I just find rings and... I feel like a, ne a necklace would have to come from a woman. Alright, Pickle. God, that scared me so bad. <laughs> Maybe when we get to camp, Trelawney will start saying more. Because I feel like he's still being very vague. Like, what questions did they ask you specifically is what we need to know. Good girl. Me and Pickle need a bath. Good, girl. M and T. I'm assuming one's Trelawney and the other one is... Morning, Mary Beth? Or Micah? Wait, ooh. Who is that? Micah. I don't know if I can handle you today, Micah. I've already been through enough. I just want to sleep so I can check the journal. Shave kit, yes. Oh man, yeah, we need a trim. All facial hair. Let's go down to a two. And then we'll go get his hair cut. I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Dang it. 
dang it. Okay, well. We're just gonna go to sleep. Hopefully his hair will get messy by the time I wake up. Alrighty, you guys. Let's check the journal. We went horse thieving. Our greed getting the better of us. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that gray family, the patriarch, Tavish. A particularly unpleasant one of what seems a reasonably unpleasant family. He had us believing that the Braithwaite woman owned some highly prized English thoroughbreds or Arab chargers or whatever they were supposed to be. And imagined we... Was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. So I guess at least some prizes were being handed out. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and a means to getting to us. Whole thing turned nasty and he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake, so came back to camp with us. See, this is what I'm concerned about. I'm just slightly concerned that... He didn't know where we were staying, and now he does. And I hope that that's not for, like, his own self-preservation. Hopefully I'm wrong about that. Not even that I'm accusing him. I just do think it's important to be, like, cautious of everyone. There's always seems to be more bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. It's all changing. This was quite the episode. We've robbed the Braithwaites. We burned down some of the tobacco from the Greys. Trelawney is being hunted by bounty hunters. But they don't want him. They want us. And now we've brought him to our camp. So he now knows where we're staying. Which... Worries me a little bit. I don't know how much, like, I should be concerned about him in particular. Maybe he wouldn't rat us out. I mean, at this point, I feel like Micah would probably rat us out quicker. But still, I feel like anyone new coming into the town, or not the town, the camp, you gotta be a little bit concerned about. Especially with everything that's going on and the Pinkertons. You just never know, right? You never know what someone would do when they're faced with, like, being hung or maybe getting immunity for turning people in. So, I gotta keep an eye on Trelawney, but hopefully nothing too bad comes from that. And then we have the Micah thing that we have to do, which I'm pretty excited for because even though I don't like Micah much, his missions are fun. And also I feel like it gives me a little bit of insight into his character because right now he's kind of mysterious and just an asshole. We don't really know too much about him, so. Yeah, I'm just excited to keep getting to do stuff with them. And something I'm realizing as this goes on, I really like Charles's character. He just seems like a straight up guy. Very, I don't know if the word would be honorable, but loyal. Very loyal. I feel like he's a person that's really good to have as a friend. He has your back. And how he was saying that Trelawney could be so far, but he would be willing to track him as far as we needed to. I feel like that just says a lot about his character. Like, he's willing... Even though he was, like, not sure about Trelawney and not sure why Dutch trusted him, he was willing to go out of his way, kind of above and beyond, to get him back, which... Yeah, I just admire Charles's character for some reason. He's really grown on me ever since he taught me how to hunt. <laughs> but yeah, this was a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot, and it helps the video. So thank you guys. And I will see you for the next one. Bye, guys.